I am Ezra Jones with the F State Magazine. Hi, Ezra. Oh, hi. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Doing good. We're doing great. <laughs> really excited to be here. So are you guys super excited about um, the, the come up and like the, the journey that you guys are currently going on as individuals? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah for a fact. It's so a, yeah. excited. Yeah. It's like you said about life itself. It's all about life. So. Yeah. I mean, they really captured like such an important moment in all of our lives, like individually. And so now to be able to see it on screen and just to know that it's just the beginning, it's, it's a really special feeling. <laughs> So what are some of your, um, I guess, your most iconic moments in terms of your journey of, of how you got to where you, you are? Mm. Damn. I think, <laughs> yeah, honestly, I, I think um, personally mine would be a party that I threw in New York, the Baroque Ball, um, that definitely woke up a lot of charisma in me and like really, you know, just shook up what I want to do in the future. So that was a turning point mm -hmm. for the show, for sure. Awesome. I think for me, um, there were a lot of really important moments that uh, dealt with like my growth in my personal life, like dealing with like growing up and these hard moments that life will like slap you across the face and, and, and like be like, wake up girl. And so I had a lot of those moments, but I also felt like my creativity and my like passion like my work my art really flourished in this time and I was able to collaborate with some amazing people uh, shoot for some really cool brands that I've admired my whole life and so these little victories that for me uh, really like made this last year like super special in really different ways yeah, uh, and for me I think it's um, being able to be pushed to, to my limit in a way uh, there's been a lot of moments where I, you know, yes, I feel like I understand who I am as an artist, you know, who I am, you know, in terms of, like, you know, my vision and, like, everything creative-wise. But in a way, uh, the show captured moments where I thought were impossible and, you know, been able to make it possible, like, you know, getting to Met Gala looks done in a week and, you know, putting together a show in, like, you know, within two months. And those are moments that I... I would have looked back on it and go, there was no way that was me who did it. You know, I was just like, there's no way. So, and, I, and I survived it. And yeah, it's like, I think that's... Like, and we're it, here. And we're here, <laughs> literally. <laughs> so as a fashion designer, obviously like that industry in general is the one industry I'm very familiar with, but it's a very difficult industry and it has its fair share of challenges. So what inspires you to keep pushing through the challenges? Um, I would say... Um, the story, like the story I'm telling is the one thing that's like the most inspiring. Um, I felt like very early on when I started like, you know, the brand, um, I was a kid coming from upstate New York. Um, I didn't know anyone in the industry and like, you know, and also just like, you know, um, being a young black kid coming from upstate New York, like when I, early on, I didn't want anyone to know what I look like, what I sounded like, you know, anything about me. I just always kept it very low key. Mm -hmm. Um, but along the way, once I, um, you know, started talking to more people and just being inspired by more story. Uh, about people uh, from my community it made me you know so like it gave me that empowerment um and you know as opposed to like trying to like fit you know fit in or like you know be part of that cool kids table i just decided to create my own table and like you know embrace it yeah, i think yeah. that's like that's like <laughs> the most important thing uh you know i just pretty much like yeah like went full blow and like you know at it i want to sit at his table yeah i'm sitting at his lunch table yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, wow. Julian, for you as as a singer, obviously that is also another uh, a, a practice yeah. that you have to consistently, like uh, like work on. So please tell us, like, how do you uh, consistently like work on your on your craft and make sure that your craft is top tier? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, um, so I feel like my craft. Um, well, I come from like a, an experimental theater background. So I approach everything I do like performatively, like I'm a performer first. And so whenever I step on stage, whenever I step on the DJ booth, or if I'm like stepping in front of the cameras, it's something in me that like activates, that I just like turn on, that I'm like, boom, like performance mode on, you know? <laughs> and so to be able to explore that that side of myself and all these different outlets has always been like this like slow build that I'm like building all these different um, 
what's the word like uh, this like different vessels that I'm connecting with and so I'm hopefully when I'm older and when I'm like well established in my craft or my practice whatever it will become I'll have all these different outlets that I can pour myself into and each one will be as authentic as the next because I'm, I'm slowly but surely dedicating my time to all these different routes you know but I think what's most important to me is that I'm like consistently inspired by the people that I work with, the people that I want to represent, the people that I want to associate myself with, the people that inspire me, you know, the people that I want to inspire. I really do it because of the people that I connect with. And so throughout this whole TV show experience, we've like, I've been so fortunate to work with like some of the most amazing kids in the business right now. So it's really an honor. <laughs> Damn, I'm trying to give you a hug right now. I'm like, oh. <laughs> no, for real. It's like so special to be like, really. It, yeah. it feels, it's an honor. I was going to say, like, how do each of you feel about um, having like your, the moments of your life being captured and showcased to other people? And what do you hope or expect other people to learn from your journey? Um, I think, honestly, I'm, I'm very excited for people to watch. Um, Obviously, during the process, we're being filmed for basically a year. Mm -hmm. It's it's very exhausting. It's 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 beautiful on screen, but you know, behind the scenes, it can be a bit tiring. And I think just finally watching it and just letting everyone else watch it, it's almost a sigh of relief. Like mm -hmm. my family gets to see it. They don't know what I've been doing for the last year, but they're gonna watch it, and it's gonna be very like eye opening. Like I think that's the reason why I'm even doing this, just so people back home can see like I'm actually here doing something <laughs> um, <laughs> like I'm not just sitting on my ass like I'm actually yeah. working um, you know right. I'm making a name for myself um, yeah. So, yeah proving it to others but also proving yeah. it to ourselves yes. so that we can do it you know yeah speaking of which because you mentioned something about home um, and I know that in, in your journey to become whatever you aspire to be Usually you think that starting out like your your friends, your family, those are going to be like the biggest supporters and really support you. But then reality hits and sometimes it's just like not that way. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, sometimes. when that comes, like how do you guys like address those challenges and navigate um, that area? I think with me it's uh, especially like you know, family wise in a way, there's sort of like this traditional expectation of like, you know, um, you know, what, what direction, you know, my parents want me to go in life and whatnot. Um, and I feel like one of the things, you know, it's kind of hard, like, so like getting them to see, you know, you know, where my head is at or like, you know, what it is I'm like doing. Um, and I think one of the many ways I could show them and they can understand like how, you know, um, you know, how much this means to me. It's like, you know, obviously the show is one of many ways. And I think, my dad didn't really, for example, my dad didn't really like understand what I was doing until like the, the first article published. I'm like, I had to get a copy and like send it to him. And he still was like, oh, like, what does this, what does this yeah, mean? Yeah, like, same, same. <laughs> so yeah, I think in a way it's like, you know, having them see this in such, you know, in, in a raw and filtered way is like very important because they, you know, I feel like they, you know, I'm hoping they call like they call me after watches going, Hey son, you wanna talk? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like now we know it. Like, now we talk it. about yeah. it. <laughs> I think what's really important that the show shows is that oh, show shows, show shows. Uh, <laughs> is that um like the 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 point of your family in New York is well, it really showcases like our chosen families as well. You know, mm -hmm. the people that we meet throughout our like journey here in New York and that become like your family, your home base that you can rely on. And sometimes your immediate family, your blood family doesn't accept you uh, right away, but it takes like showing them that like you're doing it and that you're chasing your dreams and that no matter what the odds may be, you will like follow like your dreams. I think they start respecting that a lot more and that can be a big shift. But also seeing, uh, for me, it's always been really inspiring seeing my friends that are queer, that are that have been here for a really long time and that they're like succeeding, making it. And my room, my roommate uh, last week 
completed 10 years in New York and we're like celebrating like you're officially a New a Yorker big, you know it's a big accomplishment. <laughs> big accomplishment and things like that really inspire me you know to keep moving forward to get to that mark where I can say I did it I'm a New Yorker I you know 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at seven so yeah, three, so three, three more and I'll be there <laughs> Well, thank you so much to each of you for um, spending some time with me and answering the questions. I look forward to seeing more of each of you and your success. Thank, thank you, you so, much. so much. Thank you for being here. <laughs>